Well, I think I'd let my Minecraft 360 review long enough now. But, you know, it's just the fact that there isn't a whole lot to say about it. Of course, there is no reason to talk about the basic features of the game, since all of you pretty much already know what the game is about. At least I can talk about how this version on Xbox 360 differs from the PC version. One thing I should get out of the way first is some technical information. This version of the game is ported from the Minecraft beta 1. something something, while the latest PC version is now at Minecraft 1.3 something something, and it's not beta anymore. So that means this is an old beta version, so that comes with a lot of drawbacks. There is no hunger system, no sprinting, no villages, and when it turns to night, it gets pitch black. I can't see shit. At least the beds are present. New players who have never played the PC version will not mind these drawbacks. I think that's what this game tries to do, to bring new players into Minecraft. These drawbacks practically just make the game simpler to learn. Like the hunger system on a PC can be kind of complicated. Besides, there's nothing better than just lying back in the couch and playing on the Xbox 360 controller, instead of that complicated keyboard. You also won't have to worry about a bad frame rate or the infamous world holes. It's a very smooth and solid experience. In the PC version, you had to look up guides on the internet to know how to craft a tool. But in this version, they have made it a lot easier by just having you select the tool and item you want to make and it appears in your inventory. That's a very simple solution. But the biggest improvement they have done is making multiplayer a lot easier. On the PC, it's nearly impossible to make your own server and have all your friends playing on it. But here it's as simple as just inviting your Xbox Live friends. And you're able to play multiplayer on your own world. And thanks to my Xbox Live friend here, Stevie T7, I was able to join his world and demonstrate how the multiplayer works. Everyone who enters the world gets their own map, so they can see where the other players are, and there he is. Thanks, Internet! Come to think of it, Stevie T also helped me out on the Halo Reach review, so I think it's appropriate we should all give him a clap for that. It's also possible to play the game in 4 player local split screen But get a load of this, it only works with a high definition TV Like, like, what? Is there any reason not to have that option? I mean, maybe it's because the text gets too small to read But let us figure that out ourselves, like, oh, look, the text is too small I need a high definition TV. I do have a high definition TV, but since this was recorded in standard definition, I can't show you directly how it looks. You can also choose how you want the screens to be oriented. You can choose to have the screens above each other or next to each other. When the screens are above each other, the view gets very wide and you'll see what's around you, so it's good for combat. But when the screens are next to each other, the view gets more even and you'll see more of what's in front of you, so it's great for building. Now, if one of you is building and the other is in combat, you're pretty much screwed. But, the biggest flaw is yet to be revealed. The levels are not endless anymore. I find this very disappointing, because the whole point of Minecraft is that you can walk as far as you want and the world will never end, but not in this version. You will just find an ocean, and out in the ocean there will be an invisible wall blocking your way. But as optimistic as I am, I like to look at it on the bright side. This sure makes the game run faster. Also, you can't walk off the map, so you won't have to worry about losing your friends. And the worlds are at least randomly generated. The thing that has annoyed me the most about this game so far is the fact that my little brother finds the PC version to be too complicated, so he constantly enters my room to play the Xbox 360 version. He could have downloaded this on his own PS3 and played there, but guess what, the game is exclusive to the Xbox 360, so that sucks, and I constantly have to come over to him when I want to play Ludwig Planet. 
Bottom line, game exclusivity sucks. And bottom line for Minecraft is that it's a solid port of the PC version. If you never played the PC version, then this is a great place to start. It also has a full tutorial level explaining everything you need to know, and the crafting recipes are all built in. The game is meant to introduce new players to Minecraft, and it does that really well.